The government has announced stronger enforcement of the Prime Minister Order No. 15 must be carried out without compromise to further clamp down on illegal logging in Laos. That was among the outcomes of a two-day meeting held between the government cabinet and Vientiane mayor, provincial governors, which wrapped up in Vientiane on Friday. Minister to the Prime Minister's office and government spokesman Dr. Jalun Yeopao He was addressing a press conference on Friday highlighting the outcomes of the cabinet provincial governors' meetings which outlined targets to be accomplished for the rest of this year. He said the government also agreed to put in place stronger measures to ensure the revenue collection targets for the rest of this year is met while giving priority to paying official salaries. The meeting agreed that all types of unfinished or unprocessed timbers were banned from export no matter where the logs originated from and regardless if they were from tree plantations. The government was aware the Prime Minister's order is directly impacting on the business sector, particularly those timber or wood exporting companies. However, the government called for all entrepreneurs to put the national interest above their own benefit, which would eventually reforest the nation. <laughs> Dr. Jalun said, hopefully the business sector will enhance their patriotism and love their nation more than anything else by conserving the country's forests, which serve as a fundamental factor for economic development and livelihood improvement of local people. The government spokesman said those violating the prime minister's order or forestry law, including government officials, would be penalized with no exception. The government also called on local villagers to report any cases of illegal logging so authorities could address the issues promptly. Previously, the government granted an annual timber quota of 200,000 cubic meters for cutting, but this will no longer be approved to address loopholes for illegal logging. Most sectors and local people have expressed their support for pursuing the Prime Minister's order. Those at the meeting agreed to further disseminate the Prime Minister order to ensure all government sectors, businesses and local people understand it properly and are willingly to implement it. Relevant sectors have been delegated to inspect timber left in forests and factories, plus examine whether timber quotas approved by the government in the past have been logged properly in designated areas. Concerning financial liquidity, the government was aware the nation continued to encounter financial difficulty and directed relevant sectors to enhance their efforts and responsibilities to collect revenue by clearly defining sources of revenue and how they would collect it all. Tax tariff exemptions on fuel and vehicles must be reviewed and vigilantly considered to avoid loopholes and their future authorization must be approved by the National Assembly.